Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So today we are here for the long awaited Ipsy versus Ipsy. These are our regular glam bags. Um, I do wanna take a minute to just address uh, the Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus that I did this month. We were lucky enough to get our boxes extremely early and so I got my video out very early and it got a lot of attention and um, it had some very uh, mixed reviews. So I just want to um, take a moment to kind of address that. If you guys joined the channel because of that video, I really thank you guys so much. We grew by like a hundred subscribers in three days because of that video. And I'm so glad that you guys have decided to join the Dark Angel family. I'm really very thankful that we had as much support and as much growth from that one little video as we did. Um, I'm very thankful that there is a community of people who appreciate an honest review because I'm never going to lie to you guys. That is who I am. I'm an insanely passionate person. And so if I'm very excited about something that I receive, I'm going to be like, oh my God, I love this. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. And if I hate it, I'm gonna tell you, I am so disappointed. I don't like any of this. And I'm, I'm just gonna be honest because I'm never gonna be one of those fake YouTubers who's like, oh, Oh my God, everything I get is magical. That's not how I feel. This is real life and sometimes you're disappointed and I want to be very candid and very honest with people about what I feel like is worth my money and that way they can look at what I've gotten and if that's something that appeals to them, it may not be something that appeals to me, but if it's something that appeals to them, they can go, all right, well, she doesn't like it, but that would be worth my money. I'm just gonna be honest about my opinion. And that's kind of what I uh, I want to portray to you guys. Uh, there was some constructive feedback that came from that as well. And I appreciate that a lot. Um, anybody who left a negative comment, any negative reviews, down votes, anything, it helps us in the channel. So I really can't be that mad about it. So thank you for helping the channel, even though you didn't like me. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, because that was definitely the uh, the one video on our channel that has gotten the most backlash and support all in one. So yes. So before we jump into the actual Ipsy versus Ipsy unboxing, I did want to uh, to get that out of the way. So if you are new to the channel, that's a lot to unload on you right away. So uh, sorry about that, but welcome. Thank you for joining us. So if you haven't heard of our Ipsy versus Ipsy, basically I take my mother's Ipsy and my own Ipsy and I compare the two. We both get the regular bag and the plus. From those two, I decide which bag I like better as a whole. And then I also create my ideal five piece bag based on what 10 products we were both gifted. So that being said, I'm gonna jump into it now without any more ramblings. I always start with my mom's packet, so I'm gonna put mine off to the side. I will say it is April 15th. My Ipsy regular bag, I believe was here by like the seventh or eighth. It was very quick. My mom did do add-ons and so hers was delayed. Part of the promise of Ipsy was they were going to, with everything going on with COVID, they were going to try and, and expedite and get out the bags as fast as possible. Our pluses were here in days. I know a lot of people said they did not get theirs very quickly and so that is also something to consider, but mine was here incredibly quickly. My mom's I believe was delayed because of the add-on she did. So it is now April 15th. We're finally um, be able to um, unbox everything. I think it'll probably get posted tomorrow, so April 16th. But yeah, anyway, anywho, rambling on. All right, so I pulled out her add-ons so uh, we would just be able to look at what she actually got with the bag. So I didn't much care for the design of the bag for the plus, but I think this one is actually a lot cuter. I think I just like the color of this one better. And I think the shape works a little bit better with like the cute little wooden handle. I did really like the wooden handle on the green bag, but I, I like this bag a ton actually, considering how much I was kind of like meh about the, uh, the other little one. So this is of course full bloom. That is the, the name of this little bag. I'm gonna put him off to the side. Okay, cool. So already really liking her bag. Just gonna say that. Um, so she got a Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I don't know the, band, the brand Be Bright, but I love getting concealers in these things. Even if they're too light for me, even if they're too dark for me, I can figure out a way to make them work. I feel like that is something that is very risky in a, a subscription box because you can't really color match perfectly. So when they do it, I think as long as it's close to my shade, I always really like it. I don't know how she'll feel about it. I know she has been, I convinced her to start using the Tarte Shape Tape. This kind of looks like the same deal as the Tarte Shape Tape. I will, I'm not gonna swatch it or anything, but obviously it's a tiny little brush because it is a sample size, but it's a decent sample size. So that would be something I'd be excited to get. Um, I don't know what I'm getting. I didn't say that before because I said a lot of stuff. I don't know what I'm getting. I don't know what she's getting. I never check spoilers. So we'll see what I get. So the next thing that she got was actually what she chose. It's the same thing that I chose. I do actually remember what I chose this month because I normally don't, but it's the Glossy A um, Priming Moisturizer. 
I feel like this is a really good size. I'll pull out. I mean, of course the jars are just, that's a, that's a pretty good size for Glossier. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm pretty excited to test this out. I don't use Glossier very often. Um, I think they're exclusively sold like on their website and at Sephora and I don't really shop at Sephora that often. So when I saw that this was the option, I was like, I'm gonna go with that one. So she, I think I convinced her to try it as well. Um, I may be wrong. She might've just gotten this and she might've chose something else, but this is what is sticking out in my head. So, so that is a nice little size and I'm, I'm excited for her to try it. I'm excited, excited for myself to try it as well. Oh man. So she got a lipstick, but it's all sealed. I try not to open up her lipsticks, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it this time because I want to be able to tell you guys what the color is and if I like it or not. Um, the brand looks like it is LCB maybe. That's what it's looking like. That's the, the cap of it. It says LCB in a couple different ways. So I'm assuming it's, oh, love it. She's gonna absolutely love it. It's this gorgeous matte, matte like neutral brown shade. I, oh, she, this is right up her alley. It's not even really up my alley. I normally like a little bit more color than that and I would be excited with that one. So that's a good one. I'm gonna be honest, so far I'm really liking her bag. I would be excited if I got this one, um, which is very refreshing because I was so incredibly disappointed with the pluses. But this is kind of the argument I was making the whole time is that the plus is not where it needs to be and the bag has gotten better. Like the, the regular glam bag. I keep saying the bag because they all come with bags, but. All right, the next thing she got is an estate, which we have received, I've at least received products from them before. This is a Doomy Baked Highlighter and it is really cute. It's kind of like a little golden yellow. I'm not sure if it's really up her alley, but I personally really like it. Um, I think she'll still be able to use it no matter what, even if she uses an eyeshadow, but um, really cute, good size, like a very generous size for a sample. I like this guys, I really do. I'm, I, I have yet to find a product of hers that I can complain about. The last thing that we have is a Nomad Intense Eyeshadow and looks like the shade Toscana, maybe? Pretty. So this, she'll like that too. That is a very neutral matte brown shade, almost, it, it's almost incredibly similar to the lipstick she got. And honestly, I feel like all the colors they gave her would make a really cute little eye look. That's a pretty nice cohesive bag. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. I can't imagine she won't be a big fan of this too. This is, this is a good bag. So, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and open up and see what mine looks like. And then I'm gonna pick out, but honestly, if I, without looking at my bag, I would choose her bag as a whole. Cause I really like that. Okay, time for my bag now. Let's see what I got and let's see how it compares to her bag. So I got the cute little case as well. I'm gonna open it up. So I, like I said, I did choose the Glossier as well. And I really like it. I'm very excited to test it out. I, I actually love getting primers. I know it's kind of this weird cross between like skincare and makeup. And I normally complain about getting too much skincare, but I personally am a big fan of primers because I'm always looking for different primers that work well and that um, that respond to my skin well. So I am very excited about getting to test out the Glossier one because everybody talks about Glossier and like I said, I've never used it before. So excited about that one. Uh, the next thing I got is a Balance Me 100% Natural Wonder Eye Cream. I used to complain a lot about getting eye creams and that kind of stuff. I've actually really started using them a lot more lately. So as long as I don't get like, five or <laughs> five or six in a bag of five. As long as I don't get like two or three um, skincare items, I will actually really like this one because I've been trying to test out more eye creams lately. So that's not a bad one in my opinion. Ooh, okay. So it looks like I also got an Estate uh, highlighter. I'm gonna see if it's the same shade. It is. All right, so it's the same yellow, uh, yellowy golden shade. And I personally like weird colored highlighter. So even if it is like bright yellow, I'm fine with that. I like Estate. Like I said, I've gotten their products before. That's a good product in my opinion. I'm pretty happy with what I'm getting too. I think I still like mom's bag better, but like I said, I'm not disappointed with this bag at all. Not the way I was with the plus because the plus was garbage. If you haven't watched that video, I would recommend going to watch it and you can understand why people um, responded the way they did. The next thing I got is a Kaleido Cosmetics, and I think we've gotten something from them before. This is a blush, and it is a nice size, good big pan, um, very easy. I use a really big fluffy blush brush, so that should be able to like kind of work in there. And it's just, like, it's a very neutral one, but it should be something that is um, easy to work with, and I really like. It'll be really nice to add to like my travel bag, which I, I keep a separate travel bag for when we go out of town. Um, and this one, I'm not, I said, I, I think I've used Kaleido before, but I'm not positive. They are cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, which is also a really nice perk for a cosmetic company. So that is very nice. 
And then the last thing I got here is actually one of the things my mom bought as one of her add-ons. It is a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Matte Lipstick. Uh, first of all, I didn't even show you guys this. Love the case, the case is adorable. So it's got like this cute little like quilted pattern on the side and then on the front it's got the name. Ah, oh, love it, I love it. All right, so that is very similar to the one my mom got, which is kind of funny that she bought it as well, but I, I love it. I think it's adorable. It's a pretty color. I will definitely wear this. Overall, the Ipsy Glam Bags, I think have severely improved from what they were. Big deal, that's a big deal in my opinion. They have gotten very diverse. They've gotten very specified. They have done a great job of using that customization to really make it something that is what you would hope to receive, which is my biggest complaint with the Boxy, or the Boxy, the Ipsy Plus. The Ipsy Plus is generic in my opinion. It is very much like, hey, this is kind of like what we're sending you. We have like 15 products that we're gonna send in variations to everybody. We don't have 35 products that we're going to customize to what you're looking for based on your colors and your needs and all that. So that's my biggest complaint with that. This bag, I really like. If I had to choose a cohesive bag to choose, I would pick my mom's. And probably surely for the, uh, the concealer, because I really like concealers. So I would choose hers. But if I had to go through and pick out five products individually, I would probably go with the Glossier um, primer that we both got. So we both got that one. The Estate highlighter that we both got. So that's a wash more or less. I would choose, I would choose her concealer certainly. That was, that's without a doubt. I would choose her concealer. I gotta remember what she got. Honestly, I say I choose her bag cohesively, but I'm choosing it just for that concealer because the other two products I would choose would be my eye cream and my lipstick. So I technically have four of the five products that I'm choosing with my bag, but I like the fact that she got her concealer and I like the other stuff she got as well, enough to say that I would choose her bag over my bag. That being said, these are honestly, this is one of the closest bags that I've ever compared. It's like almost really impossible for me to choose which one I like better, which is a big deal. It's a big deal. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a lot, it's a lot to take in, I know it is, but it's just a culmination of frustrations that are kind of being expressed. I think I'm I'm going to reevaluate the Ipsy Plus. I may give it one more month to test it out. And then if I hate it, I'm gonna probably cancel it because at this point, I'm just very disappointed with it. Boxy Charm was awesome this month. This one seems to be really awesome. So maybe it's just that it's not where it needs to be and maybe I'll consider rejoining in a few months. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, if you were somebody who found us because of the Ipsy Plus video, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of my wonderful subscriber support. Um, we wouldn't be anywhere without you guys and uh, we want to keep growing and we want you guys to be along with us every step of the way. So thank you guys so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, definitely consider doing so. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And then other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a good art twist.